Welcome back. The final public hearing about a proposed $820,000 bond in Ephrata is scheduled for July 15th. The City Council is scheduled to vote about whether to place the bond on November's ballot at the meeting. The meeting is taking place at the Ephrata Fire Station located at 800 A Street Southeast. The Council held its second public hearing about the proposed property tax increase to pay for the bond. No one spoke at the meeting. City Administrator Wes Crago said it seems many people in the city are aware of the issue, but no one commented publicly about the ordinance. The money would replace a fire engine, an ambulance, and air packs. Three people were injured in a collision Thursday afternoon on State Route 26, about 13 miles southwest of George. Soon Tai Kim, a 32-year-old Richland man, was driving a 2007 Chevrolet Monte Carlo north on State Route 243 when he reportedly turned in front of a 2002 Chevrolet pickup truck heading east on SR 26, according to the Washington State Patrol. The two vehicles collided at the intersection. Kim was not injured. Two of his passengers, a 23-year-old South Korea man and a 25-year-old South Korea woman, were injured and taken to Quincy Valley Medical Center. The driver of the pickup truck, 70-year-old Moses Lake man, Chun Jordan, was taken to Quincy Valley Medical Center for his injuries. The state patrol issued Kim a ticket for failing to yield the right-of-way. In national news, as people across the country celebrated Independence Day over the weekend, a symbol of our nation was given its freedom. CNN has a story. It was just before Christmas. Most folks were spending their evening preparing for the upcoming holiday. But Hawk Center Director Lynn Slater was rushing into work. She had just gotten a call. A bald eagle was found shot in the wild. The game and fish officer had trudged through some rain and mud for close to two miles after some children found her out in the swamp of the Paris Bottoms. The Hawk Center doesn't have an x-ray machine, so the bird was taken to a nearby vet. She'd likely been suffering for days. Her wing was damaged, her leg broken, but the biggest threat to her life was in her blood, poisoning from the lead shots. She was suffering from lead poisoning, she would just lie down and refuse to eat. It's of course illegal to shoot a bald eagle, and Lynn believes this was no accident. And she was perched when she was shot. We can tell that by how she where she was hit, the trajectory of what, what was hit. She was not flying when she was shot. The recovery was long and at times touch and go. But when she continued to eat and continued to gain weight and, and obviously was getting more skittish and not wanting to be around us and actually running to the other end of the enclosure when I came in to feed, that's when I said, okay, we're turning around. She's finally coming around and Let's see where this goes. After seven months cooped up in a cage, she was finally ready for freedom. And what better day for this symbol of our nation to take to the skies than Independence Day? It is the most joyful feeling ever because we have so many sadnesses, so many animals that don't make it, so many that have to be euthanized because they have awful, awful, horrendous injuries. And to see one fly away, it's just makes your heart go flutter. It's wonderful. That's going to do it here for us at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow.